This is a role play developed as part of the course curriculum for Manage TB, an online course for doctors. The participant have enacted the roles given to them. The case discussed does not refer to any existing patient but has been developed as part of the course curriculum. The investigations such as x-rays and lab reports used in this case scenario belongs to patients treated at National Institute for Research in Tuberculosis, Chennai. Their identity have been anonymized. Good morning. Ma'am, I have a case to discuss with you. Are you free now, ma'am? Sure, sure, we can discuss. Ma'am, there's a 45 year old male patient who is a carpenter by occupation. He is on treatment for sputum smear positive pulmonary TB for the past two weeks. And now he has come with the complaints of generalized itching which disturbs his sleep. He has skin rash for the past one week. Okay, can you please for give further details about this patient? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, he is on treatment for sputum positive pulmonary TB with uh, isoniazid, rifampicin, ethambutal and pyrazinamide for the past two weeks. And now he has itching all over the body which disturbs his sleep for the past one week. He has developed rash about three days ago. There is no fever, there is no history of any allergy to any drugs taken before. He is not on any other medications. He has no history of insect bite, application of any local medication or exposure to any allergenic plants. There is no change in his diet. I have examined him man. He is afebrile, not anemic and not jaundice. He has erythematous macroplapular rash all over the limbs, base and trunk. There is no mucosal lesion. Okay. How will we manage this patient now? Ma'am, if the rash was mild, I would have given an antihistamine alone. But since the rash was severe in this patient, I would like to stop all the anti-TB drugs, reassure the patient and give him antihistamine drugs. And once the rash subsides, I would like to reintroduce the anti-TB drugs in the following order, that is rifampicin then ethambutal, isoniazid and pyrazinamide with a gap of 3 to 5 days interval and if the rash reappears anytime then I would stop the offending drug and replace it with streptomycin. Very good. What is the investigation which you will do for this patient? Then I would like to do a complete blood count to rule out thrombocytopenia. Okay. So if there is thrombocytopenia, how will you manage this patient? Yes. If there is thrombocytopenia, I would like to stop all the anti tp drugs and wait till the platelets count becomes normal. Once the platelet count becomes normal, then I would reintroduce the anti tp drugs except for rifampicin and I will closely monitor the patient for blood counts for the next two days. Okay. Very good. Can you please now outline the important points in the management of uh, rash during anti tb treatment? Yes, ma'am. Mild or moderate skin rash can be treated with anti histamics and the anti tb drugs continued. Withhold and rechallenge with individual anti TB drugs if the rash is severe and terminate the offending drug. Thrombocytopenia has to be ruled out when a patient on TB treatment develops rash. Rifampicin should not be reintroduced in case of thrombocytopenia.